Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Here we dive into the exciting world of pharmacy and medicine. Today, I will be talking about some exciting and different career paths that we can follow as a foreign graduate pharmacist as well as US graduate pharmacist. And today, I will be talking mostly about the pharmaceutical industry space, which is like one of the fastest growing careers for pharmacists over here in the US. I will also be sharing some exciting and very unusual news with you guys that I haven't shared on this channel before and which obviously relates to the title of this video. But to hear that, please bear with me till the end of this video. Before we dive into the details of this video, I want to lay out a roadmap for you guys to follow along. Just a quick disclaimer here, this video is not only for pharmacy graduates or pharmacists in general, like my other videos on this channel, but also for doctors and PhDs and anybody with a doctoral degree or relevant experience can follow along. First, I'm going to provide you with a brief overview of the three most important routes available for a pharmacist over here in the US, namely retail pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, and industry pharmacy. Second, we're going to deep dive into the different opportunities that the pharmaceutical industry space has to offer for us over here in the US. As we have already talked about the commercial and clinical side of the picture in all the other videos that I've done on this channel, which will be linked somewhere over here or down in the description below. And lastly, I will be introducing you guys to some super valuable resources that I'm using myself and that you guys can benefit from as well in order to get a rewarding career in the pharmaceutical space. As a foreign graduate pharmacist, we have already talked about passing all these exams, the TOEFL, FPGE, NAPLEX, MPJ if you're in Texas, CPJ in California, etc. If you want to become a retail or hospital pharmacist over here in the US, because, because these exams are basically designed to make you accountable and designed to make you qualified enough to be dealing with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. But what if I tell you that there's an entirely different route that you can take without passing all these exams that I keep talking about on this channel? So I researched and spoke with numerous people on LinkedIn and also through some networking and uh, got to know about some incredible resources that are there to help PharmDs PhDs and even MDs in their pursuit of specialized careers. The resource that I found extremely useful after narrowing like a ton of them via Google was ACMA, Accreditation Council for Medical Affairs. Basically, in layman's language, ACMA is the first and only accrediting body in the pharmaceutical industry. Learners in over 80 plus countries, ACMA has developed customized certification and training programs with country and region specific content. They were also invited by the US Health Subcommittee as a thought leader to discuss professional standards that has been the recipient of several prestigious awards in the life sciences. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? They have tons and tons of courses available on their website that help people make remarkable careers in the field of medical affairs or just pharmaceutical industry in general. Why didn't anyone tell me about this before? That's exactly what my thought process was when I first got to know about ACMA. And speaking of, and if you're still here with me at this point in this video, I wanted to let you know that I have an exciting news for you. And the news is that I started working in a pharmaceutical industry, in a leading pharmaceutical industry as a manager in medical affairs. So I have basically changed my career path here a little bit and this is the entire reason that I'm making this video because the certification programs that I am mentioning in this video are actually there to help people like you and me get rewarding careers in the pharmaceutical space. Well, after doing tons and tons of research on ACMA, I was finally sold on one of their programs called BCMS. BCMS is known as Board Certified Medical Affairs Specialist. It is the only accredited board certification program for medical science licensed and medical affairs professionals. This program is basically meant to expand your options in the medical affairs field. So I will be doing this myself and I will also share my journey over here on this channel as I I did with FPGE and NAPLEX so if you are interested in that please make sure you follow along and subscribe to the channel in order to learn more about it and as I move forward and study in this course I will try to bring some guests whom I have spoken to myself who has already done the certification board certification program by ACMA called BCMS we got a ton of value out of it and speaking of guests did I mention that I'm starting a brand new podcast it's called Scrubs and suits so yes be on the lookout for 
that podcast as well as I will be sharing some videos over here on this channel as well as well as on other podcasting apps which I will be sharing soon on my socials which is Instagram metnerdygram linked over here everything that I have spoken about in this program including ACMA website and BCMS program that I am myself pursuing as a pharmacist over here in the US will be linked down in the description below I hope you guys found a lot of value out of this video as much as I did researching for medical affairs in general in pharmaceutical industry and finding out an incredible resource like ACMA this video provided you any value please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram that's met nerdy be on the lookout for the podcast i'm starting called scrubs and suits it will be everything relating medicine and entrepreneurship in general and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you again next time in the next video peace